this is just weird. This is weird nonsense that's going on right now. There's an opportunity to break away. There's a real space right now for debate about what health care looks like, what wages should look like, what infrastructure should look like. But Republicans are, generally speaking, with a few exceptions, disengaged from that entire dialogue. You know, your description of Trump reminds me of the old joke that if my grandmother had three wheels, she'd be a tricycle, meaning <laughs> that if the current world were upside down and different, then we might have a rational person, a rational second party. But I think you hit the nail on the head. They're not about governing. I think we have to get through the notion that they want good things to happen, even for their own people. This is about, I think, um, keeping people angry, keeping people um, resentful, keeping people um, with the view that uh, whites are somehow endangered. Um, how could you possibly turn the chauvin conviction into a bad news story? But yet they do that on Fox News. Um, so they have a completely different view of what politics is about. Um, and it's about self-promotion. It's about uh, engaging, keeping people angry and paranoid. Um, so you're right. You know, what, why doesn't Donald Trump say, I'm the hero? I got all these vaccines through. I'm the hero. Take it. Take the Trump vaccines. Um, you'd think that that would be a logical right. way to capitalize. But that's just not what he is going to do. Um, and, um, you know, I think um, waiting for him to grow into the presidency after he's left, um, you know, <laughs> we're, we're barking up the wrong tree here. Yes, we have a we have a better chance of me growing hair on my head. Kurt Anderson, uh, what happens then? Because it is becoming very, very difficult for uh, for Republicans at this point who think that they might want to be figuring out who their next presidential candidate is or want to uh, run against policies that maybe they disagree with that the Dem Democrats are putting forward. But they can't break away. They can't break up with Trump. Well, they can't. And imagine what the Josh Hawley's and Ted Cruz's are, are and the rest of them who plan to run for president in 2024, are thinking. I mean, they are, on the one hand, obliged because of their Trumpist base to, to praise the dear leader uh, and, and, and be close to him, uh, even though he's no longer president. And yet they all are per petrified of having to run against him. Because can you imagine any of them uh, waging a tough campaign against Donald Trump. How does that work exactly? So no, he has paralyzed the party. Uh, and of course, on on you know what you were saying before, um, uh, in terms of yes, he could embrace uh, the vaccine and say look, and he could even do it in a Trump way. That's the thing. He's 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 so frankly dumb that he he doesn't even say look, Joe Biden's getting all this credit for this thing I invented and I did. Similarly, he could say about infrastructure. Yeah, uh, Joe Biden, $2 trillion in infrastructure. That's what I wanted to do. I was Mr. Infrastructure. Yet he doesn't even do that. It's curious. And 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 I think well, he, he his, ple his whole pleasure is, as you say, wielding the bit, the strange, peculiar power he still has over these frightened uh, Washington Republican politicians. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.